Hello everyone, I'm Chen Kuan Gao from UC San Diego, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. In this work, we theoretically and computationally explore light-liquid interaction effect, which relies on the interplay between geometry of thin liquid film and the photonic waveguide mode, and then use it for memory and computational tasks. Consider a 220 by 500 nanometer optical waveguide with TM polarized light inside which is more sensitive to vertical index change. What would be the effect of adding thin liquid film cladding, which is capable of deforming, on top of the waveguide? If we place a small piece of gold patch on top of the waveguide, lossy gold will absorb the light and generate heat. Temperature gradient around the gold patch will change the surface tension along the liquid air interface. The liquid in low surface tension area tends to move to high surface tension area. This thermocapillary effect will change the geometry of the liquid surface. As shown here, the heat source will drive away the liquid on top. The change of liquid shape will in turn affect the properties of the optical mode in the waveguide, constituting a two-way coupling between the optical mode and the liquid film. Based on qualitative understanding, we built a 3D simulation in console, which couples wave optics, heat transfer, fluid dynamics, and surface tension effect to simulate this system. This result shows the long linear phase change in a single waveguide with gold patch as the heat source. Different input power will induce different phase or transmittance change. We also simulated long linear transmittance change in two coupled waveguides, like here, and long linear transmittance change in black rating structures designed to have different transmittance with or without liquid collating. Meanwhile, if the optical power is turned off or reduced, liquid will restore under inherent surface tension. The finite time restore process of the liquid film can serve as an optical memory for reservoir computing tasks. For example, we can perform basic exclusive OR test which requires memories from the previous input. First, we encode input signal as high power for 1 and low power for 0 with fixed pulse time and rest time between two signals. If we input a series of 1s and zeros into an MDI-like structure like this, which converts liquid deformation-induced phase change into intensity signal, we will get liquid thickness change as the red curve and monitor the power on detector D1 as the blue curve. If we stack all the detected beats on top of each other, we will get this plot. Seems just showing zeros and ones, but if we zoom in, we can see folded dynamics indicating memories from previous one or even more steps. By a simple linear training, we are able to classify these different types of data and then complete the XOR task. Based on the same idea, we also try to perform XOR tests in long local coupled with guide setup and handwritten zeros and ones recognition task both showing good performance. We are actively working on experimentally realize this optifluid system, where the long linear response and the memory resides at the same compact spatial region, constituting a proof of concept device beyond the traditional von Neumann architecture. For more details about this work, please take a look at our paper published in Advanced Photonics. Thank you.